today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine and rather than doing two separate videos, one on my daytime skincare and one on my nighttime skincare, I'm just going to put that into one video. So the first half is going to be what I use every single day during the day, next half is going to be what I use at night time and then there's also a couple of products that I only use on a weekly basis so I'm going to be showing them at the end. Before I show you the products I'll give you a little bit of an insight into what kind of skin I have just so that you know whether these products that I'm going to show you will be good for you too. So I always thought that I just had normal skin, I don't have oily skin or dry skin um, so I've just always been in between but I recently had a facial last week at the W Hotel in London by a lady called Suman, who also has her own line of skincare products and she put this camera on my skin and it came up onto her laptop screen and it showed that I had quite dry skin I don't know if that's just something to do with the weather at the moment being quite cold I think my skin, like everyone, it can dry out a little bit um, and also having the central heating on, that can always dry your skin out. But it was really interesting to find that out because I just always thought I had normal skin. So she recommended a couple of products and um, one of them I'm going to be showing today. And before I show you all of my skincare products, I should probably say that I never used to really use this many products at all. When I was at university and even a few months after university, I used to just use a makeup wipe, nothing else. I was really bad, I didn't even use moisturiser, I just didn't really see the point. I used a makeup wipe to remove my makeup and then that was that, that was my skincare. And it's just really not very good for your skin. I'm all about looking after your skin now while you're young, um, to prevent any kind of skin damage in the future or premature ageing. So that's why I do use quite a lot of skincare products, maybe not as many as most people or a lot of people, um, but to me this is a lot of products and I don't want you to watch this and be like, oh my god, you use so much on your skin. But it's just all about looking after your skin. I think it's worth the money and investing in some really good skincare products. So first up, the products that I use during the day, every single day, the first thing that I use is in the shower in the morning, and this is the Nils Yard Remedies Rose Facial Wash. I love this brand, they're all natural, organic ingredients, all amazing essential oils, such a lovely brand. and. I like using natural products as much as I can. This is for normal and sensitive skin and it also has aloe vera which is an antioxidant and it also contains soothing pink rose petals. So it smells really lovely, it feels so lovely and refreshing on the skin. So the next product is actually the newest product to my skincare routine. This is the Suman Skincare, the lady that did my facial the other day and it is a rehydrating toning essence. So this is what she recommended I should use day and night. Um, I've only been using it daytime though at the moment. I have never incorporated a toner into my skincare. I don't know why. I've always just used a face wash in the morning, then maybe a little bit of serum, an eye cream and a moisturiser. Um, but I've just never thought to use a toner. But apparently this is really good if you've got quite dry skin. It just injects that hydration again and I've really noticed the difference. It's so refreshing. Just It's quite cooling and you do feel instantly hydrated, your skin just kind of comes back to life, if you know what I mean. Because I think with dry skin it can often just feel a bit tired, um, you get the dark circles, but this in the morning really wakens you up. So next is my trusty Espar Pro Serum. You've probably seen this a million times because I don't think this has changed since I last did my skincare routine months ago, maybe even a year ago. I've always used this in the morning, only about one or two drops, like a little bit really goes a long way. And it adds that hydration again that I feel like I need, it just makes my skin feel brighter and it also evens skin tone. So yeah, I'm still loving the Espar Pro Serum, we're going strong. Next I use an eye cream and at the moment I'm using the Kate Somerville Age Arrest Eye Cream and I know a lot of you are going to hear the words Age Arrest and think why on earth are you using anti-wrinkle eye cream? Um, the reason I use this is because it's so refreshing. I love the way that it feels on my eyes. Um, I get quite dark circles under my eyes and this seems to just really help with that. The lighting is so bad today. I'm working with natural light and that's never a good thing in the UK. The sun just doesn't know what to do. If I move over here, I'm like full on a ghost. <laughs> So I'm trying to like verge over onto this side. <laughs> and the last product that I use in the morning is a moisturiser. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Lotion. 
The reason I use oil-free moisturiser is just because I've already added the oil from the Esfar Pro Serum, so having an oil moisturiser would just feel a little bit too heavy on my skin. And even though it's oil-free, it's still really hydrating. It's lightweight, so as soon as you put it on, it absorbs into your skin, and I feel like I can almost instantly apply makeup, whereas some other moisturisers that have oil in them, you kind of need to sit and wait for it to soak into your skin for a while. It still feels a bit sticky on your face, um, and you have to wait before you apply any makeup, but this one I really, really like. Now, moving on to my nighttime skincare routine. This has actually changed quite a lot since my last video. I used to always use the Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm to remove my makeup and also as a cleanser. I still love that product, but recently I've actually been using something else. Um, it's the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This you apply onto dry skin and just rub it all over your face and it even removes mascara, all of your eye makeup, even waterproof mascara, I found it removes. And then you use a muslin cloth that it comes with and you just put this under the hot tap uh, squeeze out the excess water and then just rub this all over your skin to remove the product and any makeup. And even though it's really gentle, it kind of acts like an exfoliator. You just feel like you're really removing any makeup that may usually be left over from, say, a makeup wipe. It just gives a really deep clean and your skin feels so soft afterwards. So I would highly recommend this product if you're looking for a cleanser or makeup remover. Next, I'll use an eye cream and I'm still using the Tarte Maracuja Eye Treatment. This is running so low. I reckon I could probably get one more use out of this tonight and then it's done. I need to get another one. But this is a really rich eye cream and that's why I use it at nighttime rather than daytime. This just feels a little bit more indulgent, like it's really doing its job. Again, the ingredients are lovely. It has maracuja oil in there. Tarte is a lovely skincare brand and makeup brand actually. I use a lot of their makeup products. All lovely natural ingredients and I've always loved this brand. And for my nighttime moisturizer, I'm using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Sleeping Cream. This is really thick and indulgent, almost similar to what I said about the Tarte eye cream. It just really feels like it's doing the job. It's fragrance free, it's such a simple moisturizer and that's why I love it. You get so many fancy moisturizers in like beautiful extravagant bottles and they just don't really do the work. They look amazing but when they're on their skin they don't really do much. Um, and the reason I like this brand is because it's just so simple. There's no fuss about it. It is what it is and it really works. And they're not too expensive at all as well. But I just like using this every single night. In the morning, my skin feels really soft and it feels firmer as well. You know when you're, you're really tired and your skin can just feel a bit like lifeless? Using this at night, by the next morning, it feels really lovely again. I just have a couple of products that I use on a weekly basis or a couple of times a week but just not every single day. The first one is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I actually already showed this in my last video which was the 2015 favourites so I had to show this again because it's obviously a skincare product. I use this I'd say once or twice a week. It's the one that smells like mince pies. If you watch that video you'll know what I mean. It just smells absolutely amazing and it acts almost like a mask when you're in the shower, so I'll use this in the morning, um, gently exfoliate my skin with it, and then I'll leave it on while I wash my body and do whatever else, and then wash it off, and you really feel like you have brand new skin afterwards. It's such a lovely product. And exfoliators you definitely don't need to use every single day. I think it can be a bit too harsh for the skin, so once or twice a week is perfect. Okay, the next thing is by far the most extravagant thing that I'm gonna show you and the most indulgent, but I think it might be my favorite. It is the Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. This is like a miracle product. I'm in love with it. It's bright blue, so the, the actual oil is blue, don't know if you can see there. And you just use a few drops, smooth it all over your skin, and it does give a kind of blue tinge to your skin. It's quite strange at first, but you do get used to it, and you do look a little bit like a smurf. <laughs> and I don't use any other products with this, so I'll use the Lizelle cleanser to remove all of my makeup, and once I feel like my skin is clean, that's when I'll use this, and I don't use an eye cream or the moisturizer with it, literally just the oil. Um, go to bed, sleep in it, and then by the morning you don't look blue anymore, which is always a plus. But your skin just feels brand new. You know that baby skin feeling? And sometimes when a bottle is this pretty and it's blue, I'm, I kind of think, oh, is it just a gimmicky thing? 
but honestly this works absolute wonders and lastly I have the Clarisonic it's the smart profile one I only use this about once or twice a week um, this one actually comes with a different brush as well so this is the face brush but it also comes with a slightly bigger one that you can use all over your body and I'm yet to use that one but I'm sure it's good but at the moment I have just been using the face brush and it comes with automatic settings so I use it in the shower in the morning when I use the um, Nils Yard Remedies facial wash and you use it on your forehead first I think it is then it bleeps to tell you to move on to a different part of your face then it bleeps again you move on to a different part of your face so you kind of know exactly what to do and it only lasts like a minute or two I know a lot of people absolutely swear by this product and use it once or twice every single day but at the moment I'm finding that using it once or twice a week is absolutely perfect for me it just gives a deep clean almost a bit like an exfoliator and makes my skin feel really good afterwards so they're all of my skincare products I thought it'd be really nice if you comment down below your number one skincare product that you just could not live without and that way it's nice to recommend things to people that may not have heard of it before anyway I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next week bye happy new year everyone I hope you all had an amazing new year's eve whatever you got up to